Howdy, folks. Colin and Shreya Lay here. With Lay Roots. Which is an amazing asset protection law firm, in case you haven't heard about us. So, Shreya, today we were yes. going to talk about who needs asset protection. And we get this question a lot. People call in, they think they need asset protection, but do they need asset protection? They don't know. They don't know. Hey, Shreya, before we get into that, <laughs> if you have questions about whether you need asset protection, please visit livemorecarefree.com. You can set up a free initial, no obligation consult with this young lady here, Shreya Lay. Again, that is livemorecarefree.com. Yes. Take it away, Shreya. What do well, these people want to know? I think, you know, we can break it down into a couple of different categories that all basically point to what kind of person needs asset protection. Today, I was talking to someone and, you know, they have a thriving business. They have some real estate and they were asking me, I mean, they're calling because clearly they want some asset protection. They want some hope. They want something. But they're like, but it seems so extreme. Should I do asset protection? And then a variation of that is some people are like, well, am I too early? Do I have enough? And so I figure, yeah, we can go through some of the characteristics of the types of people that could benefit from asset protection because I don't think it's extreme. Yeah, so I was going to say it's not extreme. It's very practical. Yeah. It's uh, a method to <laughs> reduce risk, mm -hmm. protect the things that you've been working on, the, the wealth that you have been building. Sure. And also a side note, it is legal too. It is not <laughs> illegal. Some people think that right. um, they're doing something shady. But it's not shady. No, it's just like, you know, doing some tax planning. Yeah, buying some insurance. It's like net worth insurance. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you know, people who face a higher risk of litigation, right, being sued for mm -hmm. whatever. Right. I would say there are a lot of licensed professionals. Mm -hmm. So you're... Doctors, dentists, <laughs> yeah. CPAs, attorneys. Architects. Architects. Yeah, we've you gotten messed some up calls. my house. <laughs> we've gotten some calls from architects. The sunlight does not enter my home the way you said it would. Right. Hey, that could be the basis of a multi-million dollar lawsuit. It could. Why not? What do we say? Real estate investors? We have not yet said real estate uh, investors. They're a big category. Those a lot of people, they got mm -hmm. tenants. Those tenants fall down. They burn homes down. Yeah. They do all kinds of crazy shenanigans. And, and a lot of times the real estate investors overlap with those other professionals. Yeah. So you got like multiple sources of potential liability. And it just starts stacking up. Mm -hmm. And in general, people who worry. Yeah. Right? Worriers? Yeah. Are they more likely to need death protection? People who are very concerned about being prepared for all of life's possibilities and worry about that. Take a little sweat off your brow. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, I was I talk to people all the time, and uh, one of the people I was speaking with, I was like, you know, if this is something that doesn't keep you up at night, then maybe this is not for you. Like, if you don't worry about, like, you're your, aware of the risks, right? And you go, I'm good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a different story when you're not aware of the risks, right? And you don't worry. But if you're aware, and you're like, meh, it doesn't really matter that much then it might not be for you. Yeah. Some people are happy with just their insurance. Mm -hmm. They they don't worry that a lot of times insurance might not cover you. Yeah. Something might be exempted from your policy, but they're willing to roll the dice a little. Yeah. There you go. They're like, that's good enough. But there's a big group of people out there who that's not good enough. They want that lawsuit insurance and they want to feel prepared for things life might throw at them because who knows where a lawsuit could come from when you're out there making deals happen and uh, living your life as a busy professional and you've got your family. I mean, some people just want someone to have their back. Well, thanks, Shreya. Yeah, you're welcome, Colin. That, I think that covers it quite 
nicely. So if you fell somewhere in those categories, you might want to mm -hmm. look into setting up that asset protection plan. So thanks for watching. Yeah. And if you want to talk to me, go to livemorecarefree.com. Phew.